Welcome back from the break, and thanks again to Kay for joining uh, me and making that pasta al forno. All right, my favorite part, dessert. Dessert. Okay. <laughs> so we, we're very good at building shakuri boards together. We did well. We did well. And of course, Nardini has such a wonderful variety of things. It's not hard to put a shakuri no, board together. No, it's where to begin, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, well, you know where we're going to begin? With the ricotta. Beautiful. So tell me about the ricotta that you sell. Uh, this particular one is quite popular. It's from Galati Brothers in Windsor, always referred to as the, the Windsor Ricotta. Comes in fresh every uh, two weeks in a nice large form. So you've got quite a big chunk of that form there, looking wonderful. And it's just everybody's kind of favorite. I know it's your favorite. We do really well with that. It's a very good quality product and nice and fresh. Beautiful. Yeah. So I've got a nice chunk of that ricotta yep. in the food processor. You could use uh, egg beaters if you want. Mm -hmm. Mascarpone. If you've never had mascarpone, some people uh, compare it to cream cheese. It's not like cream cheese. Much creamier. Much sure. creamier. It has a natural sweetness to it. So rich, perfect for this time of year. And you also serve these little things. I yeah, love it's them. It's an Italian product called Hopla. It's a very versatile uh, dessert cream. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a whipping cream. Yes. So because we want this very luscious, I've combined all three. I'm going to add a little bit of icing sugar just to make it sweet. And because we're using a charcuterie idea, uh, I'm not going to flavor the ricotta too much because um, I want all the other little so nibblies other, other to complement sure. really well with it. Okay, we're going to give that a little bit of a blend and make it nice and creamy. Take a look at how creamy this is. Looks heavenly. So, you know, the trend right now is to do these butter boards and so on. And uh, really, this is my version of a ricotta board, only I don't like going right on the board. Um, so I just have a little pretty plate here and spreading it out. Look at that. Looks like a cloud of sweetness. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so that is going to be the centerpiece of the charcuterie board. Wonderful. And uh, here's the fun part. We're going to start layering everything on. Beautiful. Okay. Yep. So you have uh, these little panettone. Little, so cute. This is one's a little pandoro, so it's the plain one. Almost like the sponge cake. And so pandoro, or any of the panettone, is so classic for New Year's, Absolutely, right? yeah, this whole seasonal time of the year for sure. So speaking of um, the panettone, last year, Carlo and I did a series of different recipes using panettone. Yeah, so you can fun. access those through my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, we had so much fun. Absolutely, a lot of new ways to use it for sure. It was a way of, uh, you know, not reinventing the wheel. So you use the pandoro or whatever panettone and you make a beautiful dessert. Okay, so maybe you can put that somewhere on the board. Okay. Yep, beautiful. I've just chopped up some chocolate. So these ones here, this one here I think has a little bit of hazelnut in it. I'm just going to put it right on top of there. This is going to look so good. There we go. Okay, I think I dropped one piece. It's okay. We'll get that later. There we go. So, what is this? So this is Panforte, and it's uh, certified uh, DOP. So it's from um, Siena region. So it's a little bit of a, a dessert that's made with uh, candied fruits and uh, melons, mm -hmm. and it's with sugar, and it's, uh, you can actually put a little icing sugar on top, so mm -hmm. it's very good for presentation. It's kind of a little bit more of a dense uh, dessert, but it's uh, typical of the Siena region. Okay, so fun for that. Again, very traditional at this time of year. And while you're doing that, I just drizzled a little bit of the amarena. Amarena, yeah. With uh, the syrup, so, so good. Look at that there. These are not like regular cherries. No, they're like the Cadillac of cherries. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love the way you described <laughs> that. Okay, so you're gonna maybe cut that up. Sure, Give me this knife or? Yeah, I'll okay. just sprinkle some on and top And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the um, cocoa on the ricotta. So the, again, the reason why I didn't really um, add too much flavor to the ricotta is that I didn't want it to compete with everything else. Okay, so look at how dark and rich that cocoa is. Wonderful, yeah. All right, so while you do that, I'm gonna lay a little bit of fruit out here. Some green grapes, maybe some red grapes. There we go. These are so cute. The little locker minis, yes. Okay, I, I buy these at the store and thinking, you know, I'm gonna just bring them home as little snacks. Oftentimes in the car, you'll, you'll see my wrappers. They don't make it home. <laughs> they don't make it home, no, not at all. Gonna add some fresh fruit. Did a nice job with that panettone. There we go. Oh, look at the colors on yeah, that. Yeah, those nuts and fruits, and it's just gelled together with uh, some sugar and flour. Very uh, wonderful texture, and it's yeah. a, kind of an uncommon thing. You don't see a lot of it. Okay. 
Do you make pizza at home? Not myself, but I eat them very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. I love pizza. They take a whole afternoon to make, though. So because we're keeping it easy, you know, you can just buy the pizza. Absolutely, yeah. A okay. lot of selection there. So we have some amaretti here. Talk about presentation. The Italians yeah. know what they're doing. Like, honestly, look how cute these are. And maybe put these just a little bit on the edge here. Okay. Kids probably enjoyed these growing up because they get to unwrap these little nice special ones it for is. sure. Yeah, yeah, so cute. So maybe you can add some of those in here. Alrighty. So what are those? So this is a confetti. So it's from uh, Somona region. Very well known for it. I'm fortunate I've got to be there. Uh, they create these uh, filled candies with uh, different fruits, uh, uh, flavoring. They usually add a chocolate inside or pistachio or almonds. And they make it uh, to look like artwork out there. It's beautiful. Oh, so pretty. So, so I was in Sudmona. Oh, wonderful. And uh, it was such a beautiful place. And the streets really have all these little boutiques that yeah. sell these. OK, so that's awesome. Okay. And maybe you can take these Dried figs, figs. Yes. beautiful, yes. And maybe you can open that up and add sure. it. So to me, we have to have some clementines, um, because really, that's the flavor of Christmas. And when we play uh, tombola at yeah. Christmas or New Year's, you need the peels. That's right. So we take the peels off the clementines, and that's what we use to, uh, you know, indicate if we have the numbers or not. Oh, can you smell that? Everything smells beautiful. Oh my yes. gosh, I love it. Okay, there and go. I've got a nice little red apple here. So I think somewhere I saw chocolate-covered figs. Do you see them? Are they right here? there. Okay, would you open that Absolutely. up? Absolutely. So how are those different from the ones you just cut up? Well, they'll just be dipped in chocolate. They can do like a, a milk chocolate or the dark chocolate. Uh, this whole line, sometimes there's baked. They bake them with cinnamon. They bake mm -hmm. them with uh, hay, uh, walnuts. Mm -hmm. So these are just, to me, wonderful little uh, additions to the beauty that a fig is. And how, usually everything dipped in chocolate, in my mind, is always a lot better. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, my mother-in-law would tell me that uh, when she was little, you know, growing up in uh, Bari, uh, Capurso near Bari, that was their candy, oh, right? The candy it definitely figs. Tastes nature's candy. Excuse me, I'm just going <laughs> to reach over and put that over there. There we go. All right, so I think uh, this is going to hit the mark. For sure. And that way people can choose what they want. We're going to set up our feast and ready to bring in the new year. Wonderful. Okay. Well, talk about easy entertaining. From our appetizer to the pasta al forno. Wonderful. To this luscious dish of sausage and potatoes and vegetables. And of course, look at that centerpiece. It's an amazing dessert. Okay, so I've already, sure. I've, oh, actually, can I ask you to take the parmigiano? Sure. King of cheeses. King of cheeses, All yeah. right. So you've got a nice big hand, so you can do All that. Right. Yep, so grace them on top. And uh, I've already poured um, some champagne. Of course, you have to have a little bit of champagne. Nice. So I've got here this Locust Lane. It's a local uh, winery. It makes a beautiful rosé champagne. So we're, oh, I'm going to top you off a little bit. Go. Yeah, you did a great job. <laughs> so what are you doing for New Year's? Uh, probably with the neighbors. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice fun time with so the you're going to scoop some in here? Oh, oh, so wow. how many people would, do you think that would serve? Uh, depends on which household, but uh, <laughs> probably, geez, 15 maybe? Yeah, scoop some there for you go. me. Sure. There we go. Okay, we're going to try the sausage. I'm gonna, I've already tried the pasta All with right. paste, so I'm going to just try the sausage. Nardini sausage. Yep. Mmm. Mm, very good with all the flavors. Oh, my gosh. So good. I love we're it. Okay, yep. I'm going to take nice. this way. And All right, now to dessert. We're time. digging into dessert. All right. All right, so I'm going to scoop up a little bit. And what are you going to do? I'm going to get a wafer, and I okay. might just scoop direct. And I'm going to use a strawberry. All right. Carlo, it has been so much fun cooking with you. Always Let's is. Let's do a little toast. All right. Bring in the new year. Buon anno. All the best to you. Best Buon anno. Too. Happy new year. Else. Salute. Thank you for joining us and for all your support throughout the year. Really, really appreciate it. All the best to you and your family. We'll see you next year. Salute.